so as part of applied ai course.com applied ai course.com uh, the the core machine learning and ai course we have actually uploaded a very uh, very very interesting case study recently which is how to automatically generate music right using recurrent neural networks in deep learning it's a very very interesting case study which especially for somebody like me who enjoys a lot of music but who doesn't have fundamentals of music to be able to compose music myself right so the objective of this case study is very simple imagine if i'm giving if i'm given the data set of lots of music right imagine if somebody gives me whole of beethoven's music right beethoven being one of the one of the most fundamentally brilliant composers of music can i create new music automatically using the music data set of some of the greatest composers that's the simple problem so i want a model look at this way right imagine if i have a huge data set of music right imagine if i can build a model that will understand the patterns in this data set right this is basically music by lots of phenomenal composers now once once the model m which is which is a recurrent neural network model in deep learning once this model learns the patterns of music in this data set now this model should be able to now generate new music for me generate new music and this new music should not be a copy paste of the old music it should understand the patterns it should understand the patterns in this music and now generate original music inspired from this data set right? that's 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 the type of system that we want to build so in this case study again remember i am not an expert in music i do not know anything about the classical music or the modern music or i don't know anything about it i don't know about music notation nothing but i enjoy music like like millions and millions of others i don't know anybody who doesn't enjoy music right so in this case study we learn the basics of how to represent music itself so we learn things like abc notation right which is a very very simplified string based or character based notation we'll also learn about uh, midi format which is a very important and very widely used format in music creation then we learn a special type of recurrent neural network called character recurrent neural networks which were popularized somewhere in late 2015 which are very well suited for tasks like this right again we focus a lot of our case study on a single instrument music music generation but we also understand how it can be extended to multi instrument settings in a nutshell the big theme here is i personally believe that over the next 20 years or so maybe 10 to 20 years today what happens today the current status quo is there is a musician or an artist who creates music and we as audience consume that music right of course we have some favorite musicians like i love ar rahman's compositions i also love some classical compositions right so instead of this model what if we have a system where musicians where musicians who are experts in music compose music with the help of an algorithm so it is musicians plus algorithms that will create phenomenally brilliant uh, brilliant music which then is consumed by audience and now audience can give feedback audience can give feedback to this algorithm right and this music will now be fine tuned by the algorithm you as per the audience tastes for example i don't like music which a lot of thumpy music i don't like lot of uh, a lot of high bass music right i prefer melodious music personally so what if the algorithm understands my taste it cre- it, it generates new music based on based on music that i like imagine a world where you have you have custom music created for your tastes with collaboration with musicians and machine learning and deep learning algorithms that's called the space of personalized music i think we will reach this page this the stage of music creation and consumption over the next decade or so so with all this you might wonder now let's listen to some music that we can create using what we learn in this case study right so i i mean this this is music created by others but i'll show it to you and i'll, I'll help you listen to it i'll i'll provide links to all of these resources and you will understand this case study is like a primer on how to generate music using recurrent neural networks and you can generate all of these stuff using using the case study 
right? But again, the case study focuses mostly on single instrument, as I was saying a while ago. It doesn't focus too much on multi-instrument. But at the end of this case study, you will have all the tools to be able to expand on this work, to be able to build a personalized music system, even with multi-instrument systems. So the course, again, gives you all the tools you need, all the basics you need to be able to build on top of our case studies. That's always been our core theme here, right? So now let's listen to some music here, right? So again, this is music generated using some Irish folk music. So the model, the model itself was, was given a lot of Irish music tunes, right? Irish folk music tunes. The model learned from these tunes and now it generated a new music composition here. So the music that you're going to listen to is algorithmically generated, not human generated. But it will sound like Irish folk music because the data set on which it was trained was Irish folk music. Right? So let's listen to this. Please note that this is a single instrument play. This is not a multi-instrument. So this is just this is just one 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 melody that I'm playing here. But you have a sequence of melodies that are created by this author here, right? Whose username is C and Sailor, who 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 used character RNNs to compose Irish folk music using a large Irish folk music dataset, right? I'll I'll provide you a reference link to this in the description section of this video, and you can listen to others, right? Similarly, there is another piece of music. Uh, by the way, this Irish folk music uh, generation uses ABC notation and recurrent neural networks. The other, the other example that I'm going to show, this is again a very interesting blog post that we'll explain in detail in our, uh, in, our, in our case study in the course. This uses MIDI format. So this uses, so it's a, it's a slight difference in the, mod, in the format itself and a slight difference in the model also, right? But it generates slightly different music as you can hear here. Again, this music is completely auto-generated. This is piano music and you have multiple scores if you want to listen to them. This is also piano music. Just, uh, just today itself, I was listening to this very interesting TED talk. The TED talk is called How AI Composes a Personalized Soundtrack of Your Life. Very, very interesting uh, TED talk. I'll provide you a link to this TED talk. In this TED talk, the designers of the system, the system is called IVA. Right, the system is called IVA, and IVA composes multi-instrument music. Very, very interesting music. So, what what IVA did was what what IVA did was it took music composed. It took almost thirty thousand music compositions by phenomenal composers like Beethoven, Mozart, etc. Right, IVA as a as a machine learning model learned these patterns, and it generated it generated new music. It generated new music. So the music that you're going to listen to now is actually generated by Iva, but played by humans, by a professional, uh, uh, by a professional group of musicians, right? This is this music that you're going to listen to is composed by an algorithm, not by a human, right? So let's listen to this. So as you would recognize, this is actually a multi, this is actually a multi-instrument setting. This is basically a multi-instrument music being generated by a machine learning algorithm. Again, it all depends, it all is based on the data sets that you give it to them. And also it mostly uses some form of recurrent neural networks to generate this. Very, very interesting piece of work. So this case study, for any one of you who is interested in how music can be automatically generated using deep learning and especially recurrent neural network models in deep learning this case study is a good starting point because you learn the basics you will actually build a couple of recurrent neural network models to generate music in both abc notation and the midi notation and you can always expand upon the work that we have in the case study as we strongly encourage all of our students to do to multi-instrument setting and you could be part of the future here you could build a startup that works on that works on building personalized music, as I was referring to earlier, right? If somebody is interested in building a startup like this, I mean, I'm all in for it. 
we will try to help you as much as we can so the idea here is that you take you take algorithms and lot of data generated by musicians let let a, let a machine learning model generate new music let audience listen to it take their feedback and regenerate music i think this is this is the future at least one of the futures i'm not sure this will this will always pan out but i'm sure there is lot of scope and potential in creating personalized music systems like that so let's get going